there, everybody. Crystal Covington here, founder of Women of Denver, with another amazing member feature. I get so excited about featuring the members of Women of Denver. They're just amazing people. There are hundreds of people that are part of our program. So getting to have five minutes with any one of you all is just incredible. So Pam has been around for a really long time. I feel like we're friends. And yes. you know we've had a lot of opportunity to collaborate and connect with one another. So it's really fun to be able to share this profile of Pam Foley. Um, Pam, I'm really excited to get to share a little bit about you. So let's start by telling our audience a little bit about your career and how you got to this point. Oh, sure. Um, but yes, I love having you around and I've been involved in Women of Denver. So thank you for doing this very first thing. And my career, um, well, that's, that's a whole nother Oprah. That's a long story. <laughs> um, I definitely have had a nonlinear career and it's different than a lot of people, but quick version. I actually was a divorce attorney and ran my own business and um, was pretty successful in it. And then um, decided not to do that anymore and became a pretty successful side gig lawyer or sorry, like side gig realtor. And um, it took over my life because of the Denver real estate market. And, yeah. and I sold $40 million in property. Um, but the Whoa. whole time I owned my business that I have now, which is AOU web design and digital branding. And I help people build their digital brand because it's not just a website. We do websites, but it's your whole brand. It's your whole business. That's what I do. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that. And I think I did meet you at the time when you were still doing the real estate. Um, and that's what I, I, is what I had in my head of you. And now I'm like, oh my God, you're this multi-talented human being that does all these things and had this really amazing history of um, running successful enterprises in the past. Yes. I mean, I, it's been an exciting career, but it's definitely not one that I can say I've always been. Yeah. <laughs> in, but, Sometimes you start out with something that's on this side and it's just, it's crazy and you make yeah. money. Time goes by all of a sudden. Yeah. So it's a neat yeah. path, but now at least I'm on it. So that's a good thing. Awesome. So tell us about a little, um, not a little, one of your recent accomplishments, small or large and um, kind of the story behind it. Sure. Um, actually, Perfect timing because I just got back from Seattle yesterday afternoon. I spent the weekend at the Women in Cloud Summit. It's a Microsoft sponsored summit of 1,300 women who work in tech and who work specifically in the cloud. And lots of big companies there, Microsoft, Oracle, Salesforce, Google. And um, I was one of the presenters. And nice. but I presented on success in a nonlinear career. Because a lot of people are coming to tech and to the cloud, women especially, because it's a great way to work part-time or have time for your family. And um, I got to talk to them. So how cool is that? Yeah, that's good. And it's a really good topic because I see so many women, especially in the 35 and 40 and up area that are like, they've had a really great career and now they're kind of looking for other things. And we've been taught that everything is this straight line. It's like, you do this, you do this, you do this, you continue to move right. up a ladder. And it's like, no, you can do this. And then you can do that. And you can do that. And you can switch a route. And um, we've had members go back and do, I've seen people go back and get like software engineering certificates when they used to be like doing a traditional administrative job. Or like I talked to someone who she's been, oh, I forget her exact role, but it's some sort of marketing communications type role. And she's going another direction. So it's so today and it's such it's so, a, such a thing we're dealing with right now. It is. And I mean, that's my story too, right? I mean, I'm certified in web design now and, you know, writing content, but I mean, I was a lawyer, so it's entirely different. I mean, there's some yeah. of the skills that come over, but, and so many people at this conference that I presented at were making changes and, yeah. and, in what you would think were later parts of their careers, kind of 30 plus, 35 and above of all ages. It was amazing. Nice. Yeah. So tell me about someone that you've met at Women of Denver that was um, inspirational or helped you, you know, connect with something new or helped you reach another level of success. You know, I met lots of super fun people that were also very inspiring. And um, I really had a hard time 
when we were talking about this ahead of time, because I have <laughs> met so many people and it's really hard to identify anybody. But what I think is pretty cool, um, I continue to be inspired all of the time by people who are creating businesses and figuring out how to live their lives the way they want to live it. And um, in so many different areas. And it yeah. happened that I put out an offer about um, doing digital branding audit for um, Women of Denver members. And I had two people. And just last week, Darcy Allison was one of them. And the really exciting thing is that she is redefining herself and redefining her business. And she has taught yoga and a super popular yoga teacher and really wants to expand it because mm -hmm. her life is changing and her priorities are changing. And I just find everyone that I meet who does that, just it just feeds me because you can make a business out of anything. Yeah. And I, it's inspirational, I really do. Yeah, it's definitely inspirational when people have like, really interesting businesses and even what you talked about her of you know kind of it sounds like she's putting that authenticity into the life she wants to live around her business which means a lot and it's something that oh it my takes goodness. a lot to get to that point and be able to be free enough to do that yeah and to be brave enough to do that because yeah. if for people because they have been taught that they have to be in line a to b and there's just this straight line and it's just not true it's just not easy to do anymore oh my gosh it's almost impossible <laughs> And I'm alive too. Awesome. So I have loved having you being a member of Women of Denver. I feel like I've gotten a oh, lot of having you around and a lot of people have benefited yeah. from being around you. What is your number one thing that you feel you've enjoyed about being a member? I enjoy the diversity of members, but also the diversity of educational opportunities because they're I'm in a lot of networking groups and I'm, I get to know people all over. And what I yeah. like about Women of Denver is there's always more to learn. And it's amazing that there are all these experts in your community, in our community, and they want to share. So I've learned more about what I do. I've learned more about branding and more about web design. And I've learned about the Enneagram and everything, you know, um, marketing, fashion, yeah. design, can't even say all of it. <laughs> I know there's so many topics. I've been doing this for a long time. So I could, there's no way I could ever list them all, but we're, no. I'm like you, I'm a part of so many different groups. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I join a lot of things and it's just, there's, I, I'm always surprised by the fact that there's an abundance of content. Like people have so many different oh ideas. Goodness. So like I go to women of Denver and then I go to something else and I still get lots of different things out of each one. And then I'm always surprised the fact that we go years at Women of Denver and I'm still getting new topics that I haven't seen yet. I'm like, okay, yep. well, every you single surprised year, me. <laughs> every single year, there's something new. I mean, there's always something yeah. to learn. Oh, I always come back because yeah. learning is a lifelong process. Might as it well is. Be, we're doing it too. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me, how can people keep in touch? What is something that you know, you really want to um, leave people with as far as like, how can people work with you? How can people learn more about you and reach out? Um, well, I would love to talk to people. I um, have offered and it's in your most recent newsletter and um, I'll make sure it's on social media again, but I've offered a digital branding audit for women of Denver and it's actually $350 that I usually charge people, but because I've gotten so much from Women of Denver, I really want to give that back. So I'm offering that to the members. And they can reach out to me on my website, which is aoudigitalbranding.com. Or you can find me in my profile in Women of Denver or on social media. And let's connect. Awesome. Thanks so much for taking the time to chat. And we can add the link um, to the comments below and make sure oh, that that's available for people. Thank you. That's perfect. Cause I tend to talk pretty quickly and, um, thanks for having me. Super. Yeah. Fun All right. Well, I'll see you again soon at an event. Bye. Pam. Okay. See you soon. Bye.